Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're really gonna like this video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. With the recent news of the government giving out coronavirus stimulus checks, due to this historic economic downturn, which was initially caused by the coronavirus outbreak, the government has unintentionally informed us what they believe the level of income you need in order to achieve financial independence. Beginning April 6th, if your income is below $75,000, you should expect to receive a check from the government, a coronavirus stimulus check of $1,200. If you make between $75,000 and $100,000, you should expect to receive a lower amount that's prorated based on your income. But if your income is above $100,000, then you won't receive a check at all. And the government will decide your full eligibility based on your 2020 tax return. However, based on your current eligibility, it will either be based on your 2019 taxes if you've already filed or based on your 2018 taxes if you have not filed your 2019 taxes yet. And keep in mind that the tax deadline has actually been pushed back from April 15th all the way to July 15th. So you've been given an extra 90 days. And this stimulus check is non-taxable, so you don't have to pay taxes on it. However, once you do file your 2020 tax return, if you do go over the thresholds mentioned previously, then you will have to pay back some or all of the money that you received. So what does this mean and how does it relate to the financial independence retire early community? If you're not familiar with the financial independence retire early community, also known as FIRE, these are people who are saving a significant amount of their income in order to invest money for retirement and then use that retirement money so that they can actually retire before the typical retirement age. So some individuals may save as high as 80 or 90% of their income or put that much of their income towards investments. So if you're already on a path towards financial independence, then this 100K threshold may actually work in your favor because it's based on your adjusted gross income. So here's an example. Let's say John makes exactly $100,000. However, there are multiple ways that you can reduce your taxable income. And so one of those ways that you can reduce it and one of the strategies that people in the FIRE community use is by putting money into their 401k, their IRA, and their HSA. So with your 401k, you can put up to $19,000 per year in your 401k. And that $19,000 reduces your taxable income by that amount. But not only can you put money towards your 401k, you can also put up to $6,000 in your IRA and up to $3,500 as a single person or $7,000 as a family towards your HSA. And if you choose the traditional 401k, the traditional IRA, and then your HSA, all three of these accounts would then reduce your taxable income, so your taxable income would no longer be $100,000 if you're John. So using the example of maxing out your 401k, maxing out your IRA, and also maxing out your HSA as a family, John could reduce his taxable income by $32,000. So now that his taxable income is about $68,000 roughly, because of course this isn't considering any other tax situations, not only is he now eligible to receive the stimulus, but he's actually eligible to receive the full stimulus check because he is now above $75,000 of his adjusted gross income. Meanwhile, Jerry, who also makes $100,000, he doesn't put anything towards retirement. He doesn't use any of the potential tax reducing accounts like your 401k, like a traditional IRA, or like an HSA, and he just spends all of his money. And so although his adjusted gross income, again, not taking into consideration any other tax deductions, his adjusted gross income would still be $100,000, meaning that even if he has another tax situation that can maybe bring him down a couple thousand dollars to make him eligible for part of the check, if he doesn't do anything to reduce his taxable income, then because he's over that $100,000 threshold, he won't receive any benefit. And both John and Jerry have had the same income for the past two years, and they were expecting to have the same income in 2020. But because John has put money towards retirement and he's put a significant amount towards retirement, his taxable income makes him eligible for the check, 
while Jerry's taxable income doesn't make him eligible for the stimulus package. And more than likely, because John is saving for retirement, he's thinking about making sure that he's handling his finances. He probably has an emergency fund as well. While Jerry, who just spends his money, he goes out, he has fun, he travels, he spends it on whatever he wants because you know, he worked hard for his money and he wants to spend his money. He may actually need that stimulus check more than John does because John has already saved. Now stories like this could be brought up in many different types of situations. People with kids, people without kids, people that get paid more money than that, people that get paid way less. But the government has to choose a dollar amount and that's what they have to stick with. And they use whatever data that they have to come up with a number that they think is reasonable as far as the amount that they give, and also as far as the income level that they feel people need this stimulus package. And so that's why I say this number that the government is giving out as far as income level is your financial independence income level that you need to reach. So if you make over $100,000, the government believes that you should be able to take care of yourself, that you have ample savings to help you out during this time period, and people that make less than that probably don't have the opportunity to save based on whatever data that they use. So if you're not making over six figures and you're not currently saving for retirement or you don't currently have that emergency fund, now's the perfect time to get serious and to start talking to friends and family members or even strangers on the internet about getting your finances in order or potentially moving into a different career field, one that may not be impacted by similar situations like this that could potentially come up in the future. Because depending on the job you have, you may not be able to work from home. There are many companies that they just had to completely shut down because if people aren't going out and spending money, then there's no way for them to make money. And so if you need to either change careers or perhaps start a side hustle in order to make more money in addition to your nine to five job, then that's something you should definitely be thinking about during this time especially if you either lost your job or you're not getting any hours at the moment based on the coronavirus and the impact that it had on your industry. So unfortunately, if you made over $100,000 in the past two years as an individual, then you won't be eligible to receive the initial stimulus check. However, if you are close to that $100,000 threshold and if based on maxing out your retirement accounts and your HSA, then you could potentially be below that threshold, maybe this is a time to think about putting more money towards your retirement if that's something you want to do in order to be eligible. And so that in 2020, you're actually able to receive a tax deduction because of the reported adjusted gross income that you have in your 2020 tax return. And if you typically make over $100,000, but because of your industry, you aren't able to work, and now this year you're gonna make less money than you normally would, and then you do qualify for 2020, then unfortunately you will have to wait until you file your 2020 tax return, and then you will receive that rebate based on your taxes at that time. So be sure to check out, I'm gonna have two links in the description. One is a link to a Washington Post article, which actually has a calculator to help you see the amount of check that you should expect to receive based on your family and your income level. And then there will also be a link to the IRS, which will have information updated as more information is provided to the public. So make sure you check that link out as well. But in the comments, I'd like to know what your thoughts are about the coronavirus stimulus check. Will you qualify or could you qualify qualify if you were to make some changes? Will you qualify now based on your 2018 or your 2019 taxes? Or based on losing hours or possibly losing your job, will you qualify once you actually turn in your 2020 tax return? And if you probably won't qualify based on 2018, 19, or 20 taxes, will you make any changes in the amount of money that you put towards retirement in order to put yourself within the threshold so that you can actually benefit from this stimulus package that millions of Americans are gonna receive. Whatever the case may be, just let me know what you think about this video, what you think about this whole situation in the comments, and I'll be sure to respond as well. And if you happen to need to open a new IRA account in order to put money towards your retirement, make sure you check out the links in my description. I will have links to M1 Finance, which is one of my favorite platforms to use, as well as many other free trading platforms that you can use like Webull, SoFi Invest, Robinhood, all of these which I've done reviews on, which you can check out in my videos. 
And many of these free trading platforms do provide free stock or maybe a money bonus whenever you sign up for them. So make sure you get your free stock or your free bonus by using my referral links, which are provided in the description and the comments below. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.